Hello friends, welcome to the Neotech Navigators. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to create a Pro Gantt chart in Google Sheets. As you are seeing my screen, we have created this Gantt chart with lot of features. First, we have the ID column, then we have the category and the activity column, then assign to start date, end date, duration, and here we have the status and the completion percentage column. You can see we have highlight the category here. The first one is the category. Then we have the activity for that category. Again, we have the next category and then we have the activity of that category. This is assigned to you can change the name from here drop down. You can change the dates and then here we have the duration, which is the formula end date minus start date. And here we have given the check boxes to check the activity if it is completed you can mark that checked if you uncheck this you can see the color is changed and the completion percentage of this is 67 and here we have used the spark lines you can see which is getting changed and the color is also getting changed for this overall activity for this overall category okay and similarly here you can see if it is all complete it will be in dark green color and if it is 0% or less than 50%, it is in dark red. If it is greater than 50% and less than 100%, but not 100%, then it is yellow. And if it is 100%, then it is dark green. Okay. Similarly here also. We have taken here three activities for each category, but you can take more as you want. So let me show you how we have created this from the scratch. Let me add a new sheet here and uh, I will show you on this sheet how we can create that. So what I'm going to do, I will use the same data. So let me copy the header and first let me come here and we will paste from the row number three. So let's paste as values. Okay. Now, first of all, we will select this range and uh, we will just use merge vertically. Okay. So this is merge vertically. Now align this middle and align this center and we will use the text wrap also. Now we will reduce the ID column size, increase the activity column size, reduce the assigned to size and these all three. Okay. For this one, we will take two columns. So select these two and then use the merge cells. And now we will reduce the column size and this one also all right now we will use the same data so what we can do we can copy the data and we will explain you how we have created everything so let's come here and paste as value shift control b so this is just value okay we will show you how we have created this one first let me select all data and take the size around 8 here align this center and middle okay now for the header, we will take some dark color. So let's take here this blue color. Let's say this one and font take white and you can take the size around nine. Go to the view. So uncheck the grid lines from here. Okay. Now this is the normal. You can see the ID and here we are taking one because this is category. Okay. Then 1.1. This is activity. So what we can do for this particular column, we can select and align left. Now here you can see some space in this and even you type anything here and enter, then there will be some space. How we can do that? Let me show you. If you change the number format of this, let's say I'm taking some other number format like currency or anything, then you can see that space is not available. So basically we have done it from the back end. So let's let me take this uh, number format. The space is not there. Now let's go to the format number and go to the custom number format. And here we just have put this format. Just put here four or five space and then just put at the rate. That's it. And then apply. Then you can see some space there. So you can take five, six, seven space and those space will appear here in the real that space is not available okay you can see in the formula bar space is not available but in the formatting it is appearing so basically it is looking like this is the category and this is the activity of that category all right now 
what we can do we can apply the conditional formatting here to highlight the category so how we can highlight the category so what we can do let let me put here mod function and select this id and i'll use divisor as one and let's close this at the end we are getting here zero if let's copy this formula and fill here okay so we have filled the formula here and you can see some numbers here right but wherever it is category that is zero because here we don't have any decimal so we can use if this formula is equal to zero it will return true right if if this formula is equal to zero then it will highlight that text okay so let me delete this formula we will select this range the whole range till here and let's go to the conditional formatting from here or you can go to the fill and go to the conditional formatting here and here we will select here we will select custom formula is and just put the formula here that is mode and select the first cell and take the first cell that is a5 so a5 and put the dollar here comma 1 if this is equal to 0 then it should highlight okay and how it will highlight we will take here some color let's say this one and make this bold click on done and close this now you can see that formatting is applied okay you can take some borders also for this range so you can select this and let's go to the border and we can select some color let's say light uh, color this one or you can take some other or dark color also let's take this color and we will take this vertical borders only just click here we can see that vertical border is applied but we don't want to apply the border here okay so what we can do first go to the borders again and say no border and then you can take let's take the left border here and then we can select this cell and take the right border here this one okay all right so we can see that borders here now we will select this range here and we will create a drop down just right click and create a drop down and we can create the drop down from range and we have created a list c so just click here on this table and select the range from here just click on ok and you can change the color for each employee if you want let's say i'm taking these colors here okay i have taken different colors now let's come to the seat 5 we can see the condition formatting is applied we can see the drop down is there now we don't need this particular column so we can take some other color here like this one just paste here and paste here and paste here and paste here so so we can see that is not uh, available and it is available only in these cells only okay now we will put formula on the duration and we will use the formula end date minus start date and we can copy this formula till the end let's paste that here all right and here what we will do we will select this range and we will insert the checkbox here so let's take the checkbox in this range and we'll take here also and here also and here also now we have the checkboxes here and if i check this one then it is checked or let's check this one so what we will do we will use the formulas here just leave these all and the formula will be we will use the count if and let's select the range of the checkboxes this range comma we will count the true only so true will be that means that checkbox is checked and divide by the total checkboxes just take the count a and select that range just close the bracket and hit the enter we are getting this percentage we can copy this here and here and here also so if i check this then you can see that value will be changed and here also okay 
Now we can use the spark line function here spark line and let's select this data. So we will show this percentage here comma. Then we will use the bar chart. Uh, you can click on this question mark also to create the quickly and just expand this. And here you can copy this range. Here you can copy this information. Just copy this and just close this and you can paste that here. Now we will change this 50 with 1 because the maximum can be 100%. Right. So 1 means 100%. Just enter. You can see that is created. If I check it is getting changed. Okay, so we can copy the same thing here, here and here. All right, this is done. Now for this particular column, just merge and we will give the name as color. And we will create here the color codes. Okay, and then here we will use the date. So what we will do, we will use the minimum date of this start date. We will select this range and just enter. We are getting the minimum date here. And here we will use the text function and we'll get the day of this. So use ddd thrice and enter. Go to the format number and then we will format this in this dmmm. All right. And here we will use plus one. And here we can paste that formula. So we will go to the right and let's insert few column first. Just select all column. Right click insert 15 column insert 15 more column insert 15 more column okay now we have the sufficient columns we can copy these two formula till the end okay so we have the data till 31st august now we will select these all columns and just align this middle and center just go to the text rotation and let's take this text rotation which is rotate up okay now we will select all columns just press control space twice and just reduce the column width also change the font size for this range around take around eight and change the column width all right and select this again and here we will just apply some border the light light blue color this one and all border all right now we can take some color here so we can take the same color on this range let's take this color and font take white and make this bold and for this one we can take the lighter color so let's select this range and let's take here this color and make this bold all right for this color column you can apply some color the same color let's say this one and font this one we will use the formula here so let me show you in the previous sheet also what formula we have used we have this column hidden so you can unhide this and we can see we have put this formula let me copy this formula first and then i will explain you let's paste this formula here let me explain the formula we have used mod function and a5 then 1 equal to 0 that means we are checking if this is a category not the activity if mod will return 0 then it will be a category right so if this is a category then we are checking the value of g5 g5 is this one status the percentage 100 percent 33 right these all so if g5 is less than 50% 0.5 then we are putting here dr dr we are putting a code for dark red okay then another condition if it is less than 80% then we are putting y y for yellow okay then we are checking again if this cell which is uh, the status percentage of whole category is equal to 1 means 100% then we are putting dg dg we are putting for dark green okay else it will be blank and then if this is not the mode value is not zero then we are putting here another condition because then it will be a activity like row number six seven eight right so we are checking if that checkbox is checked or not if it is checked then the h5 this checkbox column will be true so if it is true then we are putting here g for green else it is not checked then r for red okay so we have put the multiple color, color code here let me fill this down. 
So here you can see for this one it is putting DG if I uncheck then this is yellow because it is less than 80 if I uncheck then DR because this is less than 50 so dark red and here it is red uncheck red and this is green this is green this is red okay and same for here also all right so now here we will put another formula and that formula will be if and let's use the end function and let's select this cell if this date so we will put the dollar sign before the row number because row number will not be changed only column will be changed when we will go right right so let's put if this cell is greater than and equal to start date and in the start date we will freeze the column put the dollar here the another condition we are putting if this cell again put the dollar before the row is less than and equal to end date and put the dollar here in e. if this date is coming between start date and end date then we will show the color this color and here also we will freeze the column so put the dollar here else we will put blank just close the bracket hit the enter now we can copy this formula everywhere so just select this range and we can paste this till the end all right so we have pasted that formula now here you can see it is showing like dr 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 and here rr now we, what we can do we can select this range till the end and we can apply the condition formatting from the fill color also go to the condition formatting we will apply the multiple condition formatting and let's select here is equal to and first let me take one by one for dr if it is equal to dr let's select here dark red let's say i'm taking this color and same color i'm taking for the font also okay and say done add another rule and this time again select is equal to and let's select here dg for dark green and then for dark green let's say i'm taking this green or this one take the same font color and say done add another rule again take the equal to and this time we will take the yellow and for yellow let's say i'm taking this color and again i'm taking the same font done so these three for the category now for the now we will add for activity also select equal to for red r take the red color so let's say i'm taking this red and font also red done add another one equal to let's take for the green let's take for the green color g select some green color this one and again same font and say done all right so we have put all the condition formatting and here we can apply one white border also so let's take the white color border and just apply this border this one horizontal border so we can see some gap also in each now we can hide this column so just select this right click and make it hidden all right now let me show you if i uncheck this then here we have zero and these all three are red if i check this this is green and we can see the spark line if i check this this is greater than 50 so it is in yellow okay and these two green if i check this this is dark green and they are green similarly here yellow and they are dark green then they are green so that is how we can create this pro gain chart in google sheets friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for the watching